Welcome back to another video. My name is Tatiana, also known as your awkward gamer. And today I want to talk about a game that's not out yet. It's on Kickstarter, but I think it definitely needs more eyes on it because it looks super cool, super unique. And I'm personally like really excited to check this game out. It's like right up the alley of games I'm interested in. We are talking about Tales from Centropolis. You can check this out on Kickstarter right now. You can wishlist it on Steam and just follow it on social media. Any support for this game would be awesome. It's made by two dads who absolutely love making games and it's their first really huge project together. And the fact that only two people are making this, this looks really big. Like this game I'm sure has been huge to work on. More information will be on their Kickstarter. I'll leave all the links for everything for this game down below for you to check it out. But let's go ahead and talk about what this game is about. Tales from Centropolis follows the story of Price, a private detective in an alternative 1920s. Price finds himself on a case involving murder, industrial espionage, and his quest for a missing girl. The stakes continue to rise as he makes his way to the mega city of Centropolis where answers await. That's a really quick synopsis, but if we, if you go to Steam, they have like a, a longer kind of thing, even actually on their Kickstarter, they, it goes into just so many different features and characters and things for this game. I definitely recommend that you check it out. We're going to look at it really quick in a minute. A more in-depth explanation is that a former lab assistant at Robov Robotics, Marshall stumbles upon a motorized quad contraption housing a human brain. With his ingenuity, Marshall can communicate with the conscious brain and creates a robotic exosuit to give it a physical form. The brain, which identifies itself as Price, has no recollection of its past or the experiment that brought it to its current state. Price decides to help people by becoming a private detective. So we kind of join Price, trying to figure out their identity. They've got this murder case. They got this SB. We got tons of really cool aspects. Finding a missing girl. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. It's on my wish list. I've backed this game. I just think more people need to hear about it. I really want to show you guys. I really want to show you guys Kickstarter because I'm I'm really ch personally. This is selfish. I just want this game funded. <laughs> This game looks really cool. So here is their Kickstarter page again. This will be down below so you can check it out. The website, everything will be down below. They give a lot of really nice information here. They're looking to put it on Switch and Steam and that would also, I guess, for Steam, like go to the Steam Deck, which would be pretty awesome. They have stretch goals, which look absolutely amazing. They're even looking at voice acting. Like they are dedicated for, to this game and that's really cool to see a dev so passionate. Lots of story, more of the story is here, but it's got a lot of exploration elements. It looks like it's gonna have some pretty interesting puzzles, which I really like, you know, shaking up the gameplay with all these different elements. Um, you can change forms, so there's gear and things you can collect. Again, this is an RPG. Um, so you'll be able to do all of those fun things and interact with NPCs, engage in battles with them all kinds of different things you'll be able to do um they have real-time battles which look kind of cool looks kind of interesting i'm excited for that looks super neat um it says they describe it as a fast-paced real-time battle system and it draws inspiration from early tales games um from the tales series and class and beat em ups and stuff like that like river city ransom and they have lots of really cool stations. Like if you did play Eastward, you might know um, that they had like save um, little, I think it was like little fridges. You could like go to the fridge in the area and then save your game. They kind of have that with, they'll have charging stations to charge yourself up. Um, they'll have save booths, which is kind of like what I was just talking about with Eastward, where you go into like a telephone booth, you can save. Really cool stuff just built into the world to make the world more immersive, in my opinion. I think that's really cool. Eastward was the first time I had seen that in a game. I'm sure it's been in other games, but really cool to see that again implemented in this game because I really liked that, not really getting taken out of the world. You're just always in this world and really immersed in the story. There's no pausing to save like it's a game. You just kind of walk into these areas. It was really cool for me. I really enjoyed that. They have a vending machine and they also have upgrade stations like it's got so many cool elements that I'm just excited to check out. And then there's cases which your girl loves a good mystery. I love a good mystery. They have a bunch of case files that you can easily go and check and like look into these cases as you're playing the game ranging from probably the main case, like things like solving who you are and where you've come from, finding that little girl they talked about, the espionage, like all this cool stuff that's gonna be in this game. Um, and you can, you know, search for clues, put things together. It looks really interesting. I also think all the UI looks so good. Like I think it looks really cool. Um, and I just really love the feel of this world and the world building they've done all, just from the trailers that I've seen. I think it looks really cool. They also have a really unique dialogue system. It looks kind of like a comic book, like popping 
up where this dialogue is coming out. It draws inspiration from comic strips from the 1920s, which you can definitely feel. Looks super interesting. I really like that a lot. Like, I truly like everything about this game, but I really like that element when I saw it. It's so unique, and I thought it looked really, really cool, and I'm definitely excited to check out even more of this game. The more information they release, I'm here for it. Um, and then we get into characters, and they have a, a really cool cast of characters so far. So this is Price, the main character, um, and it gives you a little synopsis about each of these characters. They look really great. I think they look amazing. I love the style of this game. And then it goes into reward tiers um, and all the things that you can do to help support this game or all the rewards that you would get for supporting early. Um, they even have physical rewards like books and enamel pins, like really, really great stuff. So that is Tales from Centropolis. I am really excited to check this game out when it's released. I'm happy to support and back this game. And I really wanted to just share more about it because I feel like not a lot of people are talking about it or maybe aware of it. I know on Twitter, like they've changed Twitter's a mess, so like you don't even see stuff that you're like following. So I'm sure maybe some people aren't even knowing that this Kickstarter has started and like or even know about this game. So I love sharing games with you guys that are um, not well known and are really cool um, and looks like they're going to be great experiences. And this game is exactly that. Let me know if you're going to check out this game down below, uh, what you thought about it. I think it looks really cool. I've gushed enough about it, but I want to hear what you think. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. Remember to stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.